AI has gradually been making its way into our lives as a method of making tasks easier and lightening the load. One area where it particularly comes in handy is in customer support. This is something that'll come as a sight for sore eyes for anyone running a business. So today I'll talk about one of my favorite AI driven tools named Virtual Assistant AI or otherwise known as MyVA.AI. Before we get into it though, if at any point you want to try it out, you can check out the link in the description to get the best deal available for MyVA, which is 35% off for the first month, so take advantage of that to get yourself started. Now, MyVA.AI is like having a super smart helper on your computer or phone, meaning it's available for desktop sites as well as apps. It can do lots of tasks for you, like setting up meetings, organizing emails, and keeping your files tidy, as well as many other things. And the cool thing is, it works all day and night, so it's always there when you need it. It's smart because it can understand what you're saying and learn from how you interact with it. This means it gets better at helping you over time. For business businesses, myva.ai can be a big help too since you don't need to hire as many people to do these tasks. Plus, it can handle more work as your business grows without needing extra training or hiring. So, myva.ai makes life easier by taking care of the little things, but how does it work? Well, you can make an agent for various purposes, ranging from HR support to R&D support. I used it for customer support for my own site, and you can set this up via files you upload to it or simply link the site, and myva.ai will analyze all of its links. You wait a little bit, and then you'll be able to customize it. The first thing you can add is a conversion link, which tells you how many people are actually clicking on a particular button. So you just pop that into myva.ai, and then you'll see from your dashboard how many people are using it. Below that, you can set up the custom fields for chat, like including emails, phone numbers, or address. It is a bit limited in options, but it improves sales and conversion because when a customer uses the chat bot, it will prompt them to input personal info, and you'll get notified on interested customers, which will be sent to the hands up email address that you input over here. I tested this out by telling the chatbot I was interested in buying a product and it prompted me to input my email and phone number in the fields that I created earlier and then I got the email in my email inbox. From there, it tells me what to do and you can find all of these emails in the chat history tab. Of course, you'd have some people taking care of this side of things, but it organizes everything into a location for your employees to be able to directly handle them. Moreover, you can further customize Customize the bot by choosing what you want your greeting message to be when it first shows up. Then you can use the generate JavaScript option to change the call to action icon. That is the icon that the customer will first see and then the widget icon as well. You can preview what it'll look like on the right to make sure that you like it. Furthermore, you're able to adjust how long you want the CTA to wait before it pops up after someone visits your site, as well as the CTA message and the message on the chat screen. Last but not least, you can pick where on the screen you want the icon to pop up. The next part requires some patience because it might take some time for your myva.ai bot to pop up as it did with mine. I thought I did something wrong when actually all it took was a bit of waiting. In case you made some spelling or grammatical mistakes like I did here, you can always just go back through the JavaScript page to fix it and it'll be fine. I went ahead and asked the bot some other questions regarding what would be the best for a smaller business and what plan I should go for and things of that nature. It was surprisingly thorough and detailed, which was a pleasant thing to see because I really put it to the test to determine whether it could hold up. You can also test the bot out on your myva.ai dashboard to see if it works, so you don't always have to keep your other site open. Furthermore, the chat history tab is important for anyone keeping track of customer service because they're able to monitor requests and see what people might need help with. Any chats that you receive will also be sent here. This is super handy in more ways than one because not only can your team keep track of what customers need, they can also monitor the responses the bot gives and determine the quality of its responses. For example, say it wasn't giving the most up-to-date pricing info or plan details. Well, someone can go in and train it by clicking on the thumbs down icon and feed it information via a link, document, or simply by telling it what it should respond with instead. It's a neat way of making sure that your bot is being as helpful and accurate as possible. MyVA.AI also keeps track of any training that you've provided the bot by sending it to the training history tab. And in a case where you want to undo any training, you can do so as well. Your team would also be wise to use the corpus and update it because this is where all of the data that your bot has is stored. So in the case where the bot is giving wrong information, you likely need to provide it with 
with a new link in the corpus so that it knows. Moreover, from your dashboard, you'll be able to keep track of three metrics, those being starts, hands up, and conversions. Message starts show how many different conversations have begun, hands up signal positive intentions recorded, and conversions count how many times links for making a conversion were clicked. In the accounts tab, you'll also find information about your chats and data sources. So you have 5,000 chats available to you. And as you can see, I've done two chats and I'm down to 4,998. This ties into the pricing and plans or plan, I should say, since the myva.ai plan costs $450 per month, but with a discount, it would be down to $292. You also get the opportunity to try for free for five days and give a demo a whirl if you'd like that as well. Now, it goes without saying that myva.ai is really helpful, but it can still get better in a few ways. Sometimes it might not understand everything you say, especially if it's complicated. It could also learn more about what you like and how you work, so it can help you even better. Right now, it might not always know which tasks are most important, so it could be improved to do the most important things first. Also, it could work with more types of programs and apps, so it could do even more for you. Uh, these improvements would make myva.ai even more useful for everyone, at least in my opinion. Despite all of that though, would I recommend it? Absolutely. If you're looking to streamline your tasks and free up time, myva.ai could be just what you need. While it's you know already helpful, there's room for improvements in areas like understanding complex requests and personalizing its responses. However, its potential to become even smarter and more efficient makes it a promising tool for individuals and businesses alike. So if you want to simplify your workload and boost productivity, giving myva.ai could be a good move. And with that, we wrap up today's video, folks. I hope you guys found it informative, but if you need some more help, then don't hesitate to comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and liking to help us out and for you to stay updated on any future deals we might have. Also, don't forget to check out our link in the description to get that 35% off on myva.ai. At any rate, though, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.